I want us to have a clear understanding of what this video even is. There are 21 attributes in NBA 2K25. This is from the least important attribute to the most important attribute in the game. That doesn't mean that I think some attributes should be 99 and then others need to be at zero because that's, that's ridiculous. It just means that I think some are more important than others. Everything in this game matters in some capacity. There's just some attributes that have more influence than others. These are based off the badges, the influence, and whether or not the attributes even work as intended in the game get boss out to the pack it is pack here <laughs> if you like that kind of content when it comes to nba 2k25 news and updates please join the pack and subscribe let's go at number 22 it's free throw if you've ever paid attention to these videos i always think free throw is mediocre it gives you no badges okay just to offer it i'd say even with a 50 free throw you can consistently hit your free throw shots if you know the timing even at a 70 which is still extremely cheap of an attribute you can hit them almost always there's no reason to ever go up to 99 it's a perfectly fine attribute with a low rating i cannot believe i'm having one of my favorite attributes ever at number 20 perimeter defense dude it sucks this year it's crazy how bad it is a lot of the badges that come with perimeter defense suck challenger has been horrendous pig dodger has been horrendous off ball pest has honestly been really bad so the only badges that matter are immovable enforcer and on ball menace which has also been mediocre so really it's just a movable enforcer the way that people play this game when it's screens and screens and screens steel is way more valuable than perimeter defense and when you're playing wreck zone it really just doesn't matter perimeter defense wise it's probably one of the worst attributes it's ever been and it's one of the worst in the game at number 90 we have driving layup i i don't even think this is a bad attribute layups are really good this year they, they happen a lot you don't need a high layup to get it you don't even really need mix master above like bronze or silver it's an attribute that you automatically get if you get anything else if i get a good driving dunk you get layup right if i get a good standing dunk you get layup post control you get layup pass accuracy you get layup. it's just insane. everything you upgrade you get layup automatically it's an irrelevant attribute because you get it no matter what kind of the similar situation close shot at number 18. it's the same thing you get close shot no matter what you really need it at like 80 to get like the easy stuff that you need to get float game kind of sucks hook specialist straight up sucks so really the only people that need this are like true post scores besides that it's just it's just an okay attribute like yes you need to make under the basket shots but it's it's easy to get at 17 block block sucks this year i think interior defense is way more important you're not ever going to get like 10 blocks in a rec game unless you have like a 99 block the only reason why it's at 17 is that you do need it for paint patroller and paint patroller is like the only decent interior badge but block suck this year Okay, post control at 16. This is the first one, in my opinion, that is like at least decent. If you are a player that is constantly posting up, yeah, you need post control. You also get unpluckable with it, which is like huge for post scorers. You get post up poet, post up powerhouse, post fade phenom, all very, very important for post scorers this year. It's a solid attribute. Standing dunk, if you are a competitive player in any way, you need standing dunk to either get the poster animations at 90 you get rise up high and you can get it 45 even at a low rating it's really good for guards that can get standing dunks so no matter what it's a good attribute the only thing is that it's kind of cheap so i don't have it at super super high because it's like easy to get at 14 agility i'm not going to call this attribute useless because if you are a lock agility is really nice to have but i'm not going to say agility is like this amazing like speed in any game is always good, but agility is one of the only things where I feel like it's just okay. At number 13, midi. I've always felt that mid-range is super mediocre in 2K, forever, right? I've always felt like you could have like a 50 midi and still hit like an easy bucket over and over again without a problem. This year, because at 85, you get the true green window according to 2K Labs, and you know how those like fade middies are so broken this year? It makes it really good. And guys that do fade post shots also are cooking with this it's a good attribute this year vertical one of the most underrated attributes this year getting rebounds in this game with vertical high is broken you guys know how good rebounding is in this game it's just a really good attribute and you get posterizer stuff and dunk stuff one that i have changed my mind on and you guys have really shown me the light is pass accuracy so although a lot of people have it pretty low there's a reason why so many steals are happening this year and that's because people have the pass accuracy so low now steals are broken no matter what you could have a 99 overall pass accuracy and passing lane steals will still happen on you but there's no denying that bailout is pretty good if you can get bailout and you know how to use it it's kind of broken for centers break starter is like essential the shooting this year is super inconsistent you need dimer versatile visionary helps you not turn the ball over so much it's not that pass accuracy is good 
is that steel is so good, you kind of need pass accuracy to beat it, essentially. At number 10, speed. I mean, I don't think you need it at 90, but having it in the 80s, like the mid-high 80s, is essential. You can't be slow in this game, especially as a guard, you cannot be slow. Speed will always, always, always be an important attribute, no matter what. And we carry on to that with steel ball at number 9. If you can get lightning launch at Hall of Fame, speed boost in this game for guards is everything. Even having it at 75 and getting it on silver for lightning launch is, is huge. The speed with ball and speed boost will always be important. Time for the broken stuff. Offensive rebound. My God, dude. I've never felt offensive rebound to be that important of an attribute unless for like very certain people. But this year, if you're a big, you want offensive rebound. Because if you get offensive rebound high and your vertical high, Dude, you get some rebounds you have no business getting, and you know in this game, getting an offensive rebound is, is a get out of jail free card, because you get that board and you kick it out to your teammate for a free three, and you do that over and over again, it's cheating. At number seven, driving dunk, there will never be a 2K, where I think driving dunk isn't good, right? You get a jump from farther, the higher you have it. You get better animations, which animations that are quicker, easier. You gotta do posterized dunks, that gives you options to score in ways that nobody else can. Driving dunk will forever be a good attribute, no matter what. I know that layups are very good this year, there's a lot of builds that have no driving dunk, but even then, even then, driving dunk is still super good for guys that want to post with people. At number six, interior defense. This one might be controversial because I know a lot of people think interior defense doesn't work. And you know what I'm about to tell you? You're right, it's pretty bad this year. People are dunking all over interior defenders, but here's the truth, no matter what, even if you're only getting stops 20% of the time, you need it, right? Like getting a stop is everything. The higher your interior defense is, the more it helps you. And you need it. Like no matter what, if you're a big and you have a low interior, you're cooked. And even as guards having it around in the 70s, and it's cheap to get it as a guard in the 70s, it helps you so much because this year people will body you and score on you if you don't have at least a little bit of interior D. Even if it doesn't work super well, even that little bit matters a lot. Ball handle. If you're a point guard, you know that I shouldn't even have to say anything at this point. It's just, you get to get open really well. Simple as that. The biggest upgrade of an attribute I've ever seen is strength this year. Everybody needs strength. Everybody. Centers, wings, guards. If you're a center, obviously. Brick wall, box out beast. These are badges you need. If you're a lock, immovable enforcer is huge. If you are a guard, strong handle is amazing this year. So literally everybody needs their strength high this year. It is one of the most critical attributes this year. At number three, steel. Oh my God, the steals in this game are crazy. Like, how do you want it, bro? Passing lane steals, broken. Getting into Southern Hall of Fame, broken. Glove, you even get rips here and there, but forget that, the bump steals this year that do come from the steal rating, you're getting entire turnovers, and it's not like once a game. Your whole team is getting like three, four, five steals a game because of this attribute. It honestly might be number one if you were to ask me this question in like a month from now. At number two, to surprise of no big anywhere, defensive rebound will always be important. You don't get rebounds, you lose. It's as simple as that. You need to get rebounds. And at number one, it's the same thing. If you can't hit three point shots, you're going to lose, right? If you've played competitive 2K, you know that these guys will literally give up open layups to get a three-point shot because they know that the math says hit threes and you'll win. Even centers shoot threes. You have to. Those are the most important attributes in NBA 2K25. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this channel, please give it a sub. I'll see you guys next time.